All right, so Elon was back on the Joe Rogan podcast again, and they had a nice three-hour conversation about all sorts of fun things. Yeah, and uh, you could only watch the full thing on Spotify, nope. which is the first time that, you know, at least for Elon uh, on Joe Rogan, that uh, this has happened. And it was pretty interesting. And it wasn't until after that that you told me how to play it at double speed. So thanks a lot. I had to sit there for three hours. <laughs> right. It's a long podcast. You can speed it up to 3.5. That would have been awesome. It would have been under an like, hour. <laughs> but I can easily watch Elon at double speed. So that would have been cool. That would have been great. All right. So let's just tell you what he talked about. First of all, Elon lobbied for the carbon tax. And I think that that's an important thing to talk about here because that's another thing that while you're on the phone with your representative, you can lobby them for too. He said, I talked to the Biden administration about implementing a carbon tax and they were like, well, this seems to be too politically difficult. Then Elon went on to say that a strong commitment to the environment was at least half the reason they got elected. But there you go. They just don't think they have the clout to push it through. So Let's push it through. And let's just talk about what the carbon tax is. This is something that Elon pushed the Trump administration to do back in 2017. To be clear, a carbon tax is a fee on emitting carbon. Whoa, 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 taxes. Whoa, we can't have any more taxes. No, siree. We've got taxes on lots of stuff right now. Like what? Alcohol. But OK, but I mean, alcohol is bad. Gasoline, cigarettes, property, income, goods. Right. Why not carbon? It's the one thing that we know that's causing our entire planet harm. That's true. I mean, if there, if, if, boom, <laughs> that's what you tell your representative. Anyway, that's one of the things he talked about on the show. And I think that he made a really good bipartisan argument for it. You know, it makes sense. And the Biden administration hasn't done anything about it yet. He also talked about that there'll be limited Cybertruck production at Giga Texas by the end of this year, which is something he said before, but it's always good to hear it again. Mm -hmm. He said there are no aliens because if there were, he would know about it. <laughs> I don't know what that means, yeah. but that's pretty cool. Uh, and you know that that got Joe talking about aliens for a while. So that was pretty cool. Dude. He said that Bill Gates doesn't know what he's talking about. Bill Gates has said that an electric semi truck wouldn't work. And Elon said he didn't know what he was talking about. Probably somebody told him that and he is just not that close to the physics of it. I don't think he is ill intentioned here. I just think he doesn't know what he's talking about. I also heard that at one point he had a large short position on Tesla. I don't know if this is true or not, but it seems weird. People I know who know the situation pretty well, I asked them, are you sure? And they said, yes, he has a huge short position on Tesla. That didn't work out too well. Yeah, Elon was in pretty good spirits. Uh, I think that the, especially after the first drink, after the first drink, he was able to just kind of smooth out his speech a little bit. I think anyone watching it who's used to watching Joe Rogan, I think he might have come across pretty well, um, which is always a good thing. We also got out of this about the semi truck that the semi's battery pack, the first one, should be 500 kilowatt hours for the 300 mile version. That's interesting because I think a lot of us thought it might be like a megawatt hour or something. So right. now we've got some numbers to talk about. And of course, we talked about the VTOL electric supersonic jet. And Elon said, my brain will explode if I do planes. My brain is overloaded. I've got too much stuff on my plate. Only so many hours in the day. And But he did say he's been thinking about it for 13 years. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, maybe when something gets shifted around a little bit, he'll have some room for it. Who knows? But no, it didn't sound like he's going to work on it anytime soon. It right. sounds like you want someone else smart to work on it. And then the biggest thing for us, I think, is that he said that the Roadster is going to fly. Right. We've heard some tweets about it maybe being able to hover. He said, we are going to throw some rocket technology in that car. I want it to hover. We got to figure out how to make it hover without killing people, though. I thought we could make it hover, but not too high. You make it hover like a meter above the ground or something like that. Something if where you plummet, you blow the suspension, but you're not going to die. Maybe six feet. You probably just put a height limit on it. Now, I could maybe see the Roadster hovering, but I was thinking maybe like six inches. Not that would six be safe feet. for you. Six feet is... That's high. You know, the function I want is the snow shaking off function where it just goes. I want the uh, just the I, snow <laughs> obliteration mode. OK, I want to be able to change a tire while it's hovering. You don't need any jacks. That it just, would be cool. <laughs> so you have like 60 seconds. <laughs> the good news is it only has uh, one. Oh, bolt. it has one bolt in the middle. One, one lug nut. So that's not bad. And then Elon did reiterate that uh, there should be a thruster out the back where the license plate is. So it should be able to hover and then go forward. He said, you'd go pretty fast, but you're going to be time limited. It's going to use a super high pressure air bottle. The standard version will have a back row with two small seats, like child seats in a Porsche or something. Or if you get the SpaceX option package, then in that place where those two seats is, a high pressure carbon overwrap pressure vessel, something at around 10,000 PSI and a bunch of thrusters. Now, what this means is when they launch the next Roadster into space, 
that one is going to be able to autonomously fly around, which I think is going to be way cooler for Starman to do. I think you caught on to the whole reason why he's doing this. That's why it has the yoke. Yep. Clear Clear take off. off. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Mondays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below to head over to the Now You Know channel.